like so many of the men and women who sang them, the blues refused to be limited by the circumstances of their birth. The music migrated north, from the Mississippi Delta to Memphis to my hometown of Chicago. It helped lay the foundation for rock and roll, and R&B, and hip hop. It inspired artists and audiences around the world. And as tonight's performers will demonstrate, the blues continue to draw a crowd. Because this music speaks to something universal. No one goes through life without both joy and pain. Right now what I see is a great moment in history happening. B.B. King is here, Jeff Beck, Mick Jagger, Gary Clark Jr., up Shamika Copeland, you know, and uh, Warren Haynes, Derek Trucks. Buddy Guy and Booker T and Fred Wesley and President First Lady will be here. Pretty exciting stuff, so st stories for the grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> I never dreamed of even driving down Pennsylvania Avenue, you know, not just being invited into the White House. I'm going to be performing what I know best is blues music, and uh, we got a, I got a, a lot of great friends around me. I'm not doing it alone. There's so many different styles uh, of blues. Like my father, Johnny Copeland, he was Texas blues, along with uh, Gatemouth Brown and Albert Collins and even people, um, Stevie Ray Vaughan, who people know very well. And then you have Chicago style blues, which is Buddy Guy and, and people like that. So everybody has their own different flavor that they put into the music. I mean, there's a lot of different regional sounds, but you know, it, it, it started as field hollers and it started as, um, you know, just getting it off your chest and it's, it's storytelling, you know? It's, exactly. it's honesty, it's truth, and the beauty of that music is you can hear recordings from the 1920s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and it's just as immediate and just as relevant now as it's ever been. Blues, I look at as a world music. Even though it's American, the blues we know here is the American blues, but blues, every, every culture has its blues. So the American blues translates all around the world. People can just feel it because it's the people's music. It's really like it's the people's house. You know? It's one thing if we can't speak the language of other musicians, we can actually get up and play blues pretty much with anybody, anywhere, yeah. which is a beautiful thing too. Still to this day, I think it's one of the most expressive art forms because it's such a communicative thing. It's really tapping into your innermost emotions and uh, there's no expression deeper, I think, than, than someone who, who is uh, presenting the blues in an honest way. It's about bearing your soul at that moment, whatever it is. If it's a happy moment, if my man done left me, or you know, if you just want to talk about eating grandma's cornbread. Like, <laughs> you can sing about anything and it's a mood and it's, it's just your state of mind in that moment. And, and that's, that's the blues, it's the truth. It's your truth, whatever that is at the moment. You know, I was born on a farm in Louisiana. My parents were sharecroppers, and I picked cotton by hand, not by machine. And you couldn't even dream of this because my mother had a stroke when I was about 16, and that was the end of my uh, education. And I'm like saying, this is it, you know. And all of a sudden, you go to sleep and wake up. You're invited to play music in the White House, self-taught, never learned anything from a book. So it's a dream come true for me. 